the more people that I speak to, the more people that I interact with, I am finding out no matter the race, no matter the culture, everyone have been traumatized in a certain way. Not only that, when a person have not given their life to God, what happens many times is that people conform their life right around their pain. It is true. So their pain controls the way that they interact with people. Their pain controls how they speak. Their pain controls how they work, how they live their life, so on and so on. Pretty much all aspects of their life. So let's say person A and person B are people that have gotten hurt. And person A and person B begins to interact with each other. What is going to happen? Misunderstandings. And I find this to be true in so many ways. When you interact with other people, usually what happens or your issues are with that other person is misunderstandings. We all have been traumatized in a certain way. One person may have been traumatized in this way. Person B may be traumatized in this other way. Person C may be traumatized in a different way. So based upon our pain, it is going to make us think, act, speak, so on and so on in a certain way. So when you choose to interact with people that are hurt, misunderstandings are going to happen and what I have been noticing as well with people that are hurt they have so much anger they have so much anger so if you place anger on top of misunderstandings boom Everything gets blown out, out of proportion, largely. Kevin, what is your point? Okay, <laughs> let me get to my point. My Lord, let's say that you are a person that serves God as you are supposed to be and you are dealing with a hurt person. It does not matter if a person smiles all the time. It doesn't matter if a person acts giddy or hyper, like very excited and yeah, you know. For instance, I was speaking to this woman one or two days ago and she was telling me that she acts all happy around her co-workers, smiling and acting happy. But deep down inside, she is in so much pain. Deeply. Deeply. Hardly no one knows how she really is. My point, when you are dealing, let me say this too. Let me say this too. When you see a person that is overly happy, overly, 
like too much happiness because it is not normal, at least on earth, to be overly happy. That person is overcompensating for something because no one, even myself, I am not overly happy. No, not at all. If someone seems mad all the time, <laughs> if someone seems mad all the time, that is not normal. If someone's personality changes day to day and you never know how they are going to act, that is a sign or these are signs of pain. When you are dealing with people in pain, what I find that works, because as you may know, words, <laughs> many of the time, your words are not going to reach them. Even if you are 100% right, if they are acting based upon their pain, you can make the most sense and they are not going to accept it. So what shall you do? What I do and what you should do as well, because I find that it works before you interact with that person or those people, pray beforehand. Tell God about that person. Tell God what you want to happen between you and that person. God, I want peace between me and that person. I don't want that person to be acting all crazy and mad and whatever else. I want that person to be happy and explain things to me, so on and so on. This is what you do. You don't go toe to toe with a hurt person. You don't do that. Because many of the time, your words are not going to reach them because they have a demon. What if, <laughs> what if the demon in them you was able to see within them and see that demon within them. Would you argue with that person when you see that demon <laughs> pulling the strings, controlling that person? Like, you can see that that demon is making that person respond back to you in a certain way. If you were able to see that, would you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that person? Especially when they say foolish things, would you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that person? No. You would be like, hey, I see that demon within that person, and this is the reason why this person is talking crazy or acting crazy toward me. So obviously, my words can't reach them because that demon is going to stop your words out. Your words are not going to reach them because they got that demon blocking your words. So what shall you do? If your words are not going to reach that person, what can you do? What can you do? You have to pray. You have to pray. Well, Kevin, I have to tell that person how wrong they are because, you know, I have this pride within me and I got that demon too, Kevin. Yes, I know that. <laughs> I know. You feeling that you have to prove a point <laughs> to your enemy or tell off your enemy. Yes, I know that is a demon within you. I know. Thank you for telling me that. Now, it is time to get rid of that demon, surrender everything to God, and pray for that hurt person. Actually, pray for yourself because you are hurt. 
and prideful, get rid of that pride demon and that hurt demon, then pray for that other hurt person as well. Because that works. Let's say that while you are interacting with that hurt person, they begin to talk crazy to you. Boom, start praying in your mind that instant. It works. Because I know for myself, sometimes when some people say things to me, I'm like, where are you getting that from? Like, like who acts or speaks to a person in that way? Come on now. But I don't say nothing because I know that is going to place wood on, on the fire. It is going to enrage that person. So I just shut up. I just shake my head. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> because a person can't argue with themselves for long unless they have this huge problem where you are not saying anything and they can continue speaking to you for an hour fussing at you. There aren't too many people like that. So... If they want to argue, just let them say what they want and shut your mouth. And it may be over within five minutes. But if you keep speaking back and blah, 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 man, a whole hour or two will pass by. Then now you have to repent because you have said things that you should have not. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. See, these things we all have to learn here. These are common things that demons do. It does not matter if you serve God in the right way by yourself, because right when you get with other people, you are going to be tested. You are going to be tested. So you have to learn how to interact with people and how they say it, eat crow or just take it. But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Pray. Pray for them. Pray for them. It works. God, I want peace between me and that enemy there. I don't want that person to get all mad and fussy and throw a temper tantrum. I want peace between me and that person. I don't want this person to speak negatively the whole time they are speaking to me. Pray to God about those things. It works. If it works for a person like me, an average everyday person or below average, whatever else, it surely will work for you because I believe that you may be average or above average, right? So if I am below average, it surely will work for you by far. God bless.